Do you think that TypeScript is just adding types to JavaScript and nothing more? It is completely wrong. It is about modeling your data, designing your API, and building a type-safe codebase. So by the end of this video, you will understand why TypeScript nowadays is non-negotiable knowledge for senior developers. So nowadays TypeScript is not just some optional typings for JavaScript, this is what all companies are using by default. I can rarely see companies which don't leverage TypeScript, so we can safely say TypeScript is de facto standard in the front-end world now. And I still get a lot of questions, do I really need TypeScript, can I get away with JavaScript, or does it make sense at all to invest time in JavaScript when we have TypeScript? These are all wrong questions, because obviously TypeScript is built around JavaScript and you must have a great knowledge of JavaScript and additionally TypeScript because it is built on top of that. It is not enough to just know JavaScript and you can't really learn TypeScript without knowing JavaScript. And when I hear from people I don't need it, this is not really a senior way of thinking. First of all, you will be asked about TypeScript on your interviews, and if you don't know it enough, you will fail. Secondly, all teams and companies are using it, so again, it is easier for you to learn this technology and start using it. And this is exactly why all code in my frontend bootcamp, middle to senior developer, is written only in TypeScript without any lines of JavaScript whatsoever. So why TypeScript is so important? And first point is obviously type safety. We're talking here about catching errors and bugs in our building time, not in the runtime. And this actually requires the shift of the mindset, because all front-end developers are used to JavaScript and they really like to see their code failing in the browser. This is why when they can't build their code and it keeps failing in the console and they can't start the project, they become frustrated really fast. So they either disable TypeScript completely or write some nonsense like any in every single data type. So you must change your mentality. If you will see your code failing in browser, it won't help you. It will be still failed code, but in runtime. Secondly, TypeScript partially replaces tests. And you might think here, this is nonsense, TypeScript can't replace tests. And obviously no, but TypeScript typings reduce the amount of tests that we need to write. Let's say we have a function where we are providing two arguments and both of them can be just numbers because we are multiplying them. Previously, when we are writing JavaScript inside the function, we must cover cases where we provided not numbers inside, and we must throw an error. With TypeScript, you should not do it anymore, because you can just say what types you are getting as arguments, and this case will never happen. Which actually means you need to write less code inside your functions, and additionally less tests to check all these cases. And additionally to that, TypeScript allows you to refactor huge code bases much safer. When you just remove a single property on your interface, you will be notified about all usages of this property across the whole code base. Then it is just a matter of going through errors and fixing it. You can't get something like this in plain JavaScript. The next extremely important point is self-documented code. I avoid writing comments when it is possible, and TypeScript helps a lot with that. Because basically when we are defining types or interfaces for our entities, we are defining contracts how our API or our system is working together. So it encourages you to plan your mental models, and you become more focused on your TypeScript models than on the code. And it is great because it allows you to build better and safer APIs, domain models, and reusable components. TypeScript also helps us a lot to work with APIs on scale. First of all, we can validate and transform even API data with libraries like Zod, which will do it in the runtime. When we are using some third-party libraries, we can easily add type words to make sure that we are using it properly. And obviously, TypeScript simplifies debugging and fixing type mismatch problems. 
The next point is about tooling, and TypeScript really shines here. If you are using some normal IDE or editor, you will get an amazing autocomplete and import system just because you have TypeScript. You will get all properties of your specific type or interface, which you will never see in plain JavaScript, because JavaScript simply can't know what properties your object can have. And this is especially true when we are creating libraries with TypeScript. Nowadays most people create libraries in TypeScript just because they are safer and they are giving users who are using these libraries a clear API how we must use them. We understand with what parameters we must call a function and what functions are available for us at all. When we compare something like this with JavaScript, we are getting the out-of-date documentation on the website where functions are not existing at all and you need to dig in JavaScript code of the library to understand why it is working incorrectly. If you don't believe me that TypeScript is that popular, most popular libraries and frameworks are written with TypeScript. For example, React, Next.js, Redux Toolkit, TenStack, and obviously Angular and whole Angular ecosystem are all built with TypeScript. So if you are writing libraries or designing systems, TypeScript is a must. So how to learn TypeScript as a middle developer? A lot of people would recommend to watch some videos or read documentation. I would advise against that. It is much easier to just take your project, pick one component and try to refactor this with TypeScript. It is completely possible to refactor one file at once and not the whole project. And after doing just one file, you are taking another and another and with some time you will move the whole project to TypeScript. Obviously you won't use TypeScript in a perfect way, but you will get a lot of production experience. With time it makes a lot of sense to look a little bit on documentation and understand what features TypeScript can give you and then with your existing knowledge write even better code. And if you are ready to write your code as a senior developer with type safe designs and scalable architecture, make sure to check my middle to senior frontend bootcamp where I am teaching you how to do exactly that. And you can find the link to it at the description box below.